they're here, they're back, they're ready. Um, we let the veterans go last Friday, told them to go home, see their families, tell their girlfriends, they'll see them in January. Uh, it's time to get to work. Finally, the countdown to football season can be measured in hours and minutes. Fall camp starts tomorrow morning. Coach Arson says he's more excited than nervous on the eve of his first camp as head coach of Boise State. Just 27 practices separate him and his team from their opener against Ole Miss. Arson said the Broncos are completely healthy. Aside from medical redshirt tight end Kyle Sosnowski, there are also no lingering disciplinary issues, and every player on the roster is on campus except defensive end Jabril Frazier. Harse expects more competition in August than he saw in spring ball, and his primary focus is in the trenches. The Broncos have just three returning starters on the offensive and defensive lines combined. You want to get your lines dialed in. You want to have depth in your lines. Um, and then you get to your skill positions. You know, we can always move guys around and be creative and different things like that. It's very hard to move guys around and be creative up front. Harson emphasized the importance of building team chemistry this fall. Coach Peterson used to play a game in which every player needed to know the name of each of his teammates. Har said he'd use that exercise too. I think it was uh, one of our better players, Nate Potter, and, and if I remember right, um, somebody asked Pete who he was, and I think we had beards at that time. He called him Grizzly Adams. So uh, we'll do a better job of knowing who the players are. That's what camp's about. You're not doing football uh, the entire day. There's still quite a few activities in there that we'll have some fun with. And when it's all said and done, I mean, those things really make the difference as we start to play. And they're kind of what sustain you throughout the entire year, those memories of fall camp.